Hey, let's take a quick look at problem number two. Uh, we are told this time that if 596 joules of heat are removed from 29.6 grams of water at 22.9 degrees Celsius, what will the final temperature of the water be? Well, this is again another problem in which we have to implement the Q equals MC delta T formula, but a couple of things to keep in mind here. Heat is being removed from the water, from our substance, and so my Q value is actually going to be negative here. Again, the negative sign just tells me that heat is being removed or exiting the system. That heat was lost from 29.6 grams of water. The specific heat of water is 4.18 joules per gram degree Celsius. Now, that is not a value that's given to us in the problem. However, it is something that you'll be provided with on a formula chart, but you're going to use it enough that you may not even need it. And then finally, notice here that we're actually going to separate out the delta T value into the final temperature and the initial temperature. Now, I'm just going to rewrite this, but include my initial temperature in the calculation. Next thing I'm going to do is take a quick hop skip over to my calculator to multiply these two numbers together. We get 29.6 times 4.18 to give us a value of 123.728. My units of grams will cancel out, so I'm going to have just joules per degree Celsius times T final minus 22.9 degrees Celsius. I'm going to divide each side by the 123.728 joules per degree Celsius. Boom! Cancel out. Going to take a quick jump over to my calculator to get negative 4.817 equals T final minus 22.9 degrees Celsius. The last thing we're going to do here is add 22.9 degrees Celsius to each side, quick jump over my calculator, the final temperature is determined to be 18.1 degrees Celsius. Now, a couple things to keep in mind about this problem. Again, because the heat was removed, our Q value was negative. Again, don't freak out about negative Q values. It just means, again, that the heat is being removed. But you should notice that when you have a negative Q value that your final temperature is going to be less than what your initial temperature was. So that when you determine or calculate the delta T, you're going to have a negative value for your change in temperature, which will give you a negative Q value. Boom, and we're done.